Hello beauty caterpillars and today we are doing my May and June empties. So I did not have a lot in July that I, or not July, in May, so I just decided to combine both of them. I still feel like I don't have like a crazy ton of empties for being two months worth. Um, Luna is also here, <laughs> you might be able to see a little bit of her. Hi baby. Yes, um, she's here. If you don't know Luna in my puppy diary, maybe you can see her head kind of creeping in the corner. But she's here as well to join us. So without further ado, let's randomly just start throwing, pulling things out of my box. So I used up this cucumber cleanser micellar water. I got this from, it's, it says formula number 1310 cucumber with rose. I got this from Winners for $6.99. Oh, there she is. You can see you now. Mini bear. She might hear me for the whole video. I don't know. Um, but this is uh, my cellar water I got from Winners for $6.99. I would not repurchase this based on the fact that it smelled really bad. Sorry, as I was saying, my memory yeah, my memory card ran out of... My memory card filled up, so I had to delete some stuff. Anyways, um, so... Luna's still here, by the way. She's just in the corner. You guys can't see her. She was sitting over there, and now she's over here. But anyways. Um, da -da -da -da. I would not repurchase this. My cellar water, it just smelled really bad. Or not really bad. It smelled like cucumber, really strong with cucumber. And I hate the smell of cucumber. Um, so that's my bad for not smelling this before I bought it. But, I mean, it was a really good size my cellar water. It was... Uh, 600, or not 600, 16 fluid ounces, 475 mils. It says it's perfect for all, it works for all skin types. It's got cucumber extract, rose extract, and lavender oil. It was nice. I never use this to take off makeup. I just use this as a skin cleanser in the morning. Um, but yeah, it was okay. I liked it. Um, I don't think I purchased it just based on the smell, but everything else was nice in it. I used up my Argan Oil, Mor Argan Oil Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner by OGX. I'm pretty sure I have a review of this. If I do, I'll link it down below. Um, this isn't my favorite um, shampoo and conditioner. I think I bought it because it was on sale or my mom accidentally bought it for me or something. I don't know. Either way, like I was like, oh, it's on sale. Can you get me some of the shampoo I like it, but they didn't have the kind I wanted, so she got me this stuff instead or something. I don't really remember, but anyways, I have this shampoo, and I used it up, and it was, it was okay. Like, it's not my favorite. Again, I do find it's not super hydrating enough for my skin, because, I don't my skin, my hair, because my hair is thirsty. It's a thirsty girl, so this just isn't enough moisture for my hair, but it does wash it and leave it feeling nice. I used up this Bath and Body Works Christmas cookie um, shower gel. This actually lasted me a really long time. Um, we just finished this recently. Like both me and my fiance have been using this. He's had this since of December, and then we started moved. He had this since since December, and then I moved in in March, and so it lasted us until maybe the middle of May. No. Yeah, May. The middle of May. Because I don't think we, I think we used this up before June. I don't know. Either way, May or June. It lasts us a really, really long time. Um, but I do find you don't need a ton of this to make this really sudsy. So you use just like a tiny little amount and put it all over you and it lathers really well. So this stuff is really, really nice. It smells amazing. I also have one of these. So I have a backup of this because he bought one and I bought one. And um, we love the smell of this stuff. So yeah, we smell like a Christmas cookie for a very long time. It was delicious. I also used up this gentle foaming hand soap in cherry blossom, Japanese cherry blossom as well. I used up another sh soap from Bath and Body Works, um, but it got thrown out accidentally. So, oh well. Anyways, I used up soap. And then I used up my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. This is all gone. I absolutely love this stuff. I have a review, I'm pretty sure. I will link it down below. This is like my favorite lightweight moisturizer. You get four, 47 mils for like 20 bucks. It really it does a really nice job. It's really hydrating. It's really light. It doesn't break me out. This is like one of my favorite moisturizers. I love it. I'm obsessed. 
I'm trying out something else right now. I don't love it as much. I love that one way more. Melanie is smelling all the products. I used up this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist spray. I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff. I absolutely freaking love this. I think I have a review of this down below. A review of this as well. If I do, I'll link it down below. But it's just like a really nice hydrating mist um, with hyaluronic acid. And I love it. I love the spritzer on this. I think it does really nice. And yeah, I've ever just it multiple times. I just, I love it. It just gives me a little like, hydration in my step in the morning. I used up this Hadalobu Premium Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. I do have a review of this either up or coming up, so I will leave it down below if it's not if it's up yet. Um, if not, keep your eyes peeled up for this. I love this stuff. It's really amazing. There's a white one that they also make too that's really nice as well. I use this one as my nighttime hyaluronic acid and then the white one I use in the morning. But it's really nice. It works well under makeup as well. It doesn't even break out. Leave me feeling... doesn't leave me broken out. doesn't break me out. I can't speak English today. It's difficult apparently. Um, words are hard. Don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah, I really love this stuff. I ran out and so now I really need to, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this exact one because I feel like having two of them is kind of expensive and I could probably just get away with just the white one, but I do really love this one and I really wanted to try it and I'm really glad I did because I love it. Um, I got found, not found, used up my Hard Candy Matte Sheer MV Setting Spray. I really love this Hard Candy stuff. It's really nice setting spray. It's um, super cheap. It's like six bucks for 64 mils. And like the Wet n Wild one, which is like a dollar less, you only get like 50 mils or something. But I don't like the spritzer on this one, so what I do is I dump this buff stuff into my Wet n Wild bottle and use the spritzer on that one because I like that one so much better than the spritzer on this one. This one just gives me way too much. I don't like it. I used up this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It was really nice. It did a really good job cleaning my skin and taking off my makeup. Um, I don't think I will go out and buy the full size of this product. I do have another one of these little sample ones left. Um, it was nice, but I think I could find better ones. I'm really sad because I loved Katherine Hyren's thing with Pixie, her duo cleanser, that had an amazing cleansing balm in it, I absolutely loved it, but they took it out of Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada, like, I don't know why, it makes me so sad, because I freaking love that product, but, yeah. Anyways, this stuff is nice, but I don't think for, like, the $30 price tag is worth it, so, for the full size, anyways, and, like, I don't think the $12 one is worth it that either, because, you go through this quite quickly if you're wearing makeup every day. I used up the Ordinary Salicylic, salicylic Acid 2% Solution for Brumish Blemish Prone Skin. I use about one of these every two months. This is like my favorite acne treatment that I use. I ran out and I tried to order more on The Ordinary and right now they're reformulating and it's still not up and I read in the comments that they were doing this, like someone commented in August, April was like, can't wait for the formula to come out and they're like, it's coming soon and it's now like the end of June and it's still not out and I'm like, I miss this, I need it, I want it, I can't get it, I'm so sad and yeah. I'm very sad because this is like the only thing that like helps with my like one of the things that really helps with my acne and stuff that I don't find like some of the acne stuff I just find it doesn't work but this one is like the only one I've tried that I find that actually works and it's super cheap so I'm really excited when that'll come back and hopefully it works just as well for me with the new reformulation. Anywho I used up one of these um, nose strips. These are not the Bior ones, these are just like the Equate brands, like the Walmart brand um, nose strips. But I do like them, they work pretty well. I just was noticing I was getting a lot of buildup in my nose and I thought I'd use a nose strip, so wouldn't make it those. I used up this Pretty Animals by Masku Bar. She mask, it's cute, it's got a little otter on it. He's a cute little mask. Um, he was nice. Hydrating, I like him. I like she mask for like when my skin needs 
and then my skin's feeling really dry and it kind of like helps hydrate and if I just want to have like a relaxing like spa night at home or something like that. I used up this Glam Go Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Not the hugest fan of the texture of this stuff. I found it really difficult to get out. I do have a review either up or coming up of this watermelon mask. Um, it's okay. I did notice a huge difference in it. Definitely don't think it's worth the price. I feel like the one I get from the Freeman's Beauty is like the same texture and it's also a brightening mask. So, I don't know. It's also a brightening sleeping mask too, so... You know, I feel like it, they're kind of roughly the same. Um, I used up a Nivea creme or buttercream that's creme de creme de la creme creme a la vanilla. Vanilla is French. I was thinking it was creme de vanilla, but that's the French side. This is the butter vanilla buttercream stuff chapstick. It's okay. I like these ones. Um, I they're not my favorite chapsticks. I like the EOS bombs one better, but the EOS ones are more expensive, so sometimes I buy these ones because they're the vanilla ones and they're cheaper. But anyways, I also used up finally um this Revlon Kiss Balm. These are something I had in my project pan. They're products I only used up in 2020. So it, there's like nothing left. I can't scroll it up any higher. It's as high as it goes. I've used all these ones up. I had a bunch of the Clinique um, balm ones and now that they're done, I'm so excited to be in front of them because I didn't like them. So I'm glad that they're over. Would not repurchase a balm again. I don't like balms. I prefer either lipsticks or lip glosses. I just, if I'm gonna have like a colored chapstick type of thing, Put something on my lips i'd rather it be lipstick than like a tint of a chapstick a balm i'm just i'm not a balm person anyways i used some toothpaste this is a crest 3d white toothpaste um an arctic fresh i've used a bunch of these tubes i like wouldn't really notice this is doing like a ton to brighten my brighten i've gone through like countless of bottles and like a lot of people swear by this stuff and they're like, it's so good, but I'm like, my teeth are still pretty yellow, so I don't know. I mean, it's toothpaste, it's good to brush my teeth with, I just kind of wish the brightening effect would eventually work, but oh well. That is everything for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Also, do you like our new painting in the background? Painting canvas picture, not actually painting. We got a new canvas. Winners opened up and I finally got to go to Winners. How exciting. I didn't get a bunch of stuff. Um, not enough to do really a haul. We got like a garbage can, a shoe rack, a picture for our wall, and I got some deodorant, basically. Very uneventful trip. It was eventful, but like uneventful. It was just so exciting to go back to Winners and like part where was everything, but I just didn't see a lot there that I liked. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.